So Care for Her is the Women's Health Division of MCHC, and it's where we provide obstetric and gynecologic care to women of all ages, uh, pregnant and non-pregnant, from basic services to invasive surgery, and minimally invasive surgery, birth, prenatal care, and, well, woman care. I honestly think it's unique in the country. It's not just unique to the state or to this region. For example, we have eight nurse midwives that provide most of the obstetric care, primary obstetric care, a midwife. It's a very good, well-rounded, quality women's health care program. In traditional practices where midwives see low-risk births only or low-risk prenatal care, uh, the patient wanting that individualized experience and that midwifery attention often are you know risked out of a practice and sent to OBGYNs that you know may or may not provide that same service and so with the supportive collaboration that we have they're able to stay in our care and get that unique experience even while they're having more medical oversight by the doctors for their high-risk conditions. I feel really blessed that I found this career the job here is really unique in that we get to be the first um, provider that the patient sees and works with. And all of our patients, whether they be low risk or high risk, they get midwifery care, which we know the outcomes, um, the evidence shows that there's better outcomes for women with vaginal birth, with breastfeeding rates, with reduced risk of postpartum depression when they get midwifery care. However, we have a really high risk population and a lot of folks with complex psychosocial or medical backgrounds. So our practice is unique in that we get to leverage the physician's strength as well. And each patient gets not only a midwife, but an OBGYN physician that can also support them if it's needed. Well, I think it's really the best of both worlds to work in a collaborative practice because the midwives are really the experts at normal pregnancy, normal birth, and the physicians are really the experts at complications and I think when we work together um, we're really able to give whole woman care to, to everybody that comes to us. Anyone who is insured or uninsured or underinsured, no one gets turned away. It's easy to make referrals within the organization to give them access to care to serve all their health care needs. We have a, uh, a model at the clinic that includes uh, midwives and it's been running very, very successfully for almost the, the full life of our clinic for 30 years. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to see multiple generations yeah. of mothers come in um, to the hospital. Yeah. You know, I may have talked to, you know, a few folks and, mm -hmm. that have been here for a few years and that, that joy they get from delivering the grandchildren of someone they delivered yes. a couple years ago. What we do in our field is quite stressful, so to have each other's back and to help each other when it's needed, it's, uh, it's really welcomed every day. I've found the difference between my prior practice previously and here is that I used to continuously, constantly work all the time there at a slower pace. Here, it's a faster pace, but for a shorter period of time, and then you get to take time off. So that is, that's really nice. One of the things I really like about working here is all of the providers work well together. And that, I, I, what I mean by that is not just the people that work directly for care for her, but the other providers that work um, in private practice or for Adventist Self. We are there for one another, whether it's uh, in consultation, we work in the operating room together. Uh, at, at any time of the day or night, we can call each other and ask for advice and ask for help. And there's never a hesitation to come and help. I'm really, really happy with the, um, with the partnering that, that we've seen over the last few years. And I think that's uh, due in large part to, to Judson's leadership there and uh, his, his openness to, to saying, yeah, I can't do this by myself. I need partners to come in and, and, uh, and work with me. So yeah. it's, it's, been, uh, it's been exciting, and I think we're really starting to turn a corner there yeah. uh, to a point where, um, where we're not burning our providers out. Yeah. And um, it's, it's exactly that. It's how do we create sustainability, right. right? So what's that empathy, or how do we design empathetically like for the physician, right? Mm -hmm. So they can have that work-life balance that they need. And the reality is if we create two or three or four smaller practices yeah. in our community, 
right. you're creating non-sustainability and vulnerability for those practices. <clears throat> and I think we're on pace for about 900 deliveries this year yeah. um, in this community. So it's a substantial volume. And uh, you know, what a great, what a great place to practice. 